75 years, 75 years. Coronation Bowling Lanes has been around for 75 years and we're here to find out what it's been like through all of that time. Let's go. Today is a very special day, why? Very special, back in 1948, uh, the Coronation Bowling Center first opened. Uh, give me the Coles notes, what are some of the biggest details from it? Well, the biggest details was the, um, the, the three floors and then the, um, that you could pick five and 10 pin. You could you do either. Not here anymore. <laughs> Not anymore, only five now, but you could pick either and uh, then the, the pin boy, as they used to call him, would throw you back the ball and set up the pins that you not, didn't knock down or clear them out of the way. Wow. And then in 1960, we uh, became the first bowling center to uh, have um, automatic pin, pin setters. And this is just an old picture of uh, Joe Dubinsky standing on the crane and uh, the machine broken down to go into the building. So tell me about like the lanes, like everything about it. Like this is special, right? 1948, these were put in board by board. So they were put one board, hammered to the side and continued on all the way on. So it was made in space. And, and do they have any of these anywhere in Manitoba? These are the last standing ones in Manitoba. Everybody else has gone to the synthetic lanes, but we've been lucky enough to keep them uh, nice enough that we could still bowl on them, but it's, uh, it's a challenge. Yeah, well, <laughs> what kind of maintenance is involved in... in well, the, the hard part is there's, so, there's, so, there's not so many of them anymore that it's hard to get the product yeah. to put the refinish them. Because it's a special product, it's not just your local handy hardware store vinyl or uh, fair thing. Keep it, yeah, very, very slick, yeah. huh? Watch your head, though, when you come through. And, ooh, look at this. So, Jim, I've never been in the back of this, so tell me about, like, what do we got here? Well, these are the latest, the string pins. So as you hit the pins, the ball hits the pins, you'll, they'll indicate it, and they'll, they'll climb up here, rotate, and then they'll lock in which pin you hit, and it stop. So that's a far cry from the very first setting they had, when you had 22 pins, you had pins coming around. You had to manually push the button to pick them up and clean them out of the way and get new pins. So. And, and you had a person setting the pins. Well, yeah, back in the day, you'd have the guy sitting. He was standing in the back. And they tell me that if you're really good, you could do four lanes. And they were getting paid like a nickel a game from everybody. Wow. So, and then anyway, if you were a 10-pin bowler, they would suck their tip in the, in the finger hole and throw the ball down for you to get your money out. So. And I've also heard the horror stories where the kids got hit with the finger and then they would throw the ball back as fast as it came in. <laughs> so, and then when they were bored, they would write on the wall. Oh yeah. And, that, and that's where you get all these, um, you see around here all the graffiti, we'll call it, on the side walls there. That's what they did when they were bored? When they were bored, they'd write their name on here and uh, at the top there, that's the one I was telling you about, 1961, David Allen and Sylvia. They're still married today. Still married and still coming in here. Yeah, absolutely. So he was a pin setter? Is that he what was, was a pin setter. David was a pin setter, yeah. Ah, Sylvia was just a lucky lady. She was the lucky lady. That came here. <laughs> That's right. Marriages have been formed because of this place. You got that right. There's obviously a space theme. Cosmic bowling? Why, why is that? Why is it a, now a part of Coronation Lane? Well, when we put in the glow bowling, we needed something different for uh, flooring. So we had the uh, cosmic carpet put in and it had a space theme and then just came available and we thought, oh, let's put it up there. And in the glow bowling, it uh, stands out nicely. So it's something that you guys do, glow bowling. Obviously, you have regular five pin during the day. And when does the glow bowling happen? Usually on uh, on the weekends for sure. Uh, weekdays are mostly all uh, league bowling, but uh, weekends is for sure glow bowling time. Now, who's coming to that? Everybody. Like it's. Uh, you have your families coming in from uh, little kids to grandmas and grandpas, they like it. Uh, sometimes the music's too loud for them, but we turn it down for them and it's for everyone. Okay, so you have um, some special things here, mate. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, all our uh, league bowlers uh, this week are receiving a uh, personalized water bottle with our 75th uh, logo on it and the actual news article on the side of oh, the yeah. uh, thing. We'll and see, then just right. over the years uh, on the picture here where we had the uh, ice bowling and uh, oh, yeah. you know all the different stuff over the years. And then we got the uh, Imperial cookies that we uh, got made by uh, High Tea Bakery with our uh, logo on it. It's amazing. I'm going to have to try one of these. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. It's always been here and uh, it should always be here. So. And I mean, it's a big thing for everyone that's, uh, I guess, coming here and whatnot, so. Absolutely. It's 
place you want to come and have fun and uh, you know it's safe it's smaller than uh, your normal bowling alley and I always get it it feels homey is what people tell me